More than half a century after its creation, this Noah's Ark is still standing. Welcome to the Criadero, the Cuban crocodile sanctuary built in the very heart of the swamps. There are 4,500 residents living in this universe under embargo. To watch over these 100% Cuban crocodiles, there are a dozen enthusiasts, descendants of the first cocodrilleros. At the head of this unique reserve is Ityam. He's been running this reptile farm for the last seven years. In this part of the sanctuary, we have two categories, the newborns and the fast-growing youngsters. In total, we have 1,800 young specimens. In these central enclosures are those born this year. They're still small, between 35 and 40 centimeters. On this side, we have young ones. In each pool, there are about 110 of these animals. On the other side are those which are more than a year old. They measure more than 50 centimeters and will grow up to 1 meter 60. This sanctuary is extremely important for the preservation and survival of the Cuban crocodile. All the animals who are here constitute a sort of guarantee should the species disappear from the wild. These are all viable candidates for reintroduction. Entering the sanctuary is like traveling through Cuba. Time seems to stand still. Life follows the rhythm of a cold-blooded animal. They look just like statues. A lot of people want to see them in action. They get annoyed because the crocodiles don't move. In fact, they're very calm animals, and even more so when in captivity. The fact that they remain calm is reassuring for us. When they're not agitated, it means everything is fine. Etiam has led the wolf into the sheep pen. Next to these 100% Cuban guests, there are American crocodiles in this well-separated enclosure. In this pool, we've collected a few acutus, which we keep well apart from our Cubans. They're here so that we can study them and see the differences between the two species. This young American crocodile will help Etienne initiate Eduardo, the latest biologist to arrive at the sanctuary. In the absence of a genetic study of each newborn, they need to be able to distinguish between the two species just by looking at them to avoid intrusion by an American or hybrid. Uh, Try to catch the one with the wet head under the roof. Look at the difference. These two crocodiles are about the same size. They must be about two years old. The first difference you notice is the color. The American is darker, grayer. The other clue which can help you to differentiate between an American and a Cuban is the shape of the head. If you look at the area between the eyes and the nose, you can make out a diamond shape. 
However, with the American, there is no such shape between the eye sockets and the nose. That's the principal difference between them. So, which is the cutest? The Cuban. The Cuban is always more beautiful. Today is the day of the feast. Once a week, the employees at the sanctuary carefully cut up more than 100 tons of meat to feed the crocodiles. On an island where there is a shortage of everything, coming up with this weekly supply is a real exploit. One of the guardian angels of the park is Efren, the living memory of the sanctuary. Efren takes care of the newborns. Despite being only a few centimeters long, they are surprisingly voracious. I started here when I was 22. Now I'm 74. Taking care of crocodiles has been my whole life. I must be the oldest one here. But so what? I adore crocodiles. Protecting them. The Cuban is a beautiful species. <laughs> The sanctuary is close to Playa Larga, a seaside resort with 3,000 inhabitants. A large number of cocodrilleros live here. Whole families, like Efren's. Hi, how's it going? How are things, brother? I've missed you. It's been a long time. Is work going well? Very well, very well. This is Bernardino, my elder brother. And Enrique, who is the youngest of the family. The youngest of the herd. <laughs> All three of us have worked at the sanctuary. Come on, let's celebrate with a little glass of rum. Uh, go on, with pleasure. The Alonso brothers. These three musketeers are of the same blood. In their time, they have helped save more than 1,000 Cuban crocodiles. Toast to crocodiles. Uh -huh. And to all these years of adventure. 